University of Michigan has made it her mission to bring art to places where life seems to stand still. And yet for many, they really have nothing but time. 7 Action News reporter Kim Craig has more on the unexpected place where art is being made. So many of the images are beautiful, intense, and breathtaking. A painting of an elephant blindfolded on a tightrope. A young boy with a prisoner number over his head. It's showing that he is becoming incarcerated, institutionalized. And this is his heart. All of these paintings are currently on display at the University of Michigan's Duderstadt Gallery. 485 pieces of art, each painted or sketched by a man or woman currently locked up in a Michigan prison. The work is so intense and so compelling that people are just blown away, like you were when you came in. I mean, people have very emotional reactions and are just so inspired and sort of in awe of, like, how did this happen? How do these people know how to do this? Ruben Kenyatta was released from prison about a year ago after spending 12 years locked up. This is a solid foundation to help people transform their lives. Because once you go into become incarcerated, you're sort of like depleted of any, uh, we say, human qualities. And this is one program that can help you regain that. This painting is from a man from Detroit recalling details of his life when he was free. He needs to remember his life in Detroit where he came from. Professor Paul and her husband started the Prison Creative Arts Project 20 years ago and it continues to grow and change lives that may never again walk free. We have seen people, we've known some people over 20 years, 15 years, who we have seen change gain self-confidence, feel more peaceful in their lives. The art of Ruben Kenyatta has even made its way to the cover of a book. It's a service that you give back to the world. It's a service in order for people to get an understanding of all aspects of life. In Ann Arbor, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. What talent you see in those pieces yeah. there, right? And what emotion in the art as well. I'll stay with us coming up.